two is really about AMD, Nvidia, Intel, and kind of like you know <laughs> the recent launches. I mean, and I'm I'm thinking in terms of uh, end of um, 2020, start of 2021, and we had a kind of digital CES. The big three PC hardware silicon companies. Mm, God, if we if we start with obviously there's a lot of hype with Nvidia's launches, AMD's launches of new products and stuff. I don't know. I don't I don't know if it's because I I think the I think Nvidia actually even looking back now because I think everyone was saying Nvidia did a really bad job. I think they've now the the supply for 3070s have improved, 3080s are slowly improving. Um, you know, if you want them, I think they're there. AMD, though, I think is uh, CPUs are okay. GPUs aren't. And actually, I think they've done a worse job um, based on what I'm seeing, especially with the selling the selling prices with the um, MSRP. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the key. That is the main killer. Mm. I, I, I kind of think that AMD will prioritize their CPUs. Mm. They kind of know that they're basically at the top of the pole now. They've got a lot of mind share. And um, mm. people want that product. Yeah. The GPUs, they're, they're still trying to prove themselves versus something like, you know, uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is still, they're still king or queen, or, yeah. you know, whatever way you yeah. swing with that. And I, I just think, you know, um, NVIDIA definitely have more competition in it with AMD now. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. I think AMD are really close. <laughs> yeah. They're really close in terms of performance. Uh, and For GPUs. Yeah, yeah. and if, you know, if the situation was different and they could have kept to their MSRP and there was enough supply to basically fulfill demand, things might have been a bit different. And I just generally feel they've mm. had to f yep. really yep. focus on the CPU side of things. And equally, AMD, Sony, Microsoft, amongst other companies, these big three, going to TSMC, Beta Silicon, and that's the fab, there's going to be mm. limitations on how much they can produce. Yeah. That's the reality of it. But I think AMD's done well on the CPU front. They've they clearly they they've actually overtaken the Intel technically on well, at least some of the stuff that's happened before. Yeah, they've done it very quickly, mm. actually, comparably mm. think about where they were. I mean, they've uh, they they've. I mean, it's it's not really often for me to see someone publish a roadmap. You know, in in our in our in our line of business, right? <laughs> what we do, I mean, and for anybody mm. who decides to listen to this, right? I and I and Al are basically in a, in in the technology space, so we deal with technology day to day. Right, but it's not very often <laughs> that we see somebody publish a roadmap that they keep to number one, and then not only do they yep. keep to it, yep. but they knock it out of the park. You know what I mean? Like because the the last <laughs> the last Zen kind of processes that launched, I thought, wow, these guys have just literally, you know, it just feels like they basically are uh, over delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that was the thing. I mean, that was I, I, it was so impressive. You know, I built a full AMD machine. I just like I, I'll just I'll just go for it. I think they've done really well. You know, the competition is great for the market. Yeah, you know, and they're really pushing them. Um, and actually now, you know, I'm I'm tempted to build the you know the third generation one, the full AMD stack again. But the GPUs are the thing that's holding me back on them at the moment. I think I think you can, I think you can wait because mm. you know personally I don't, I don't you know because the you know supply is such that yeah. you're gonna have to wait anyway. There's not gonna be a, a choice in the matter. Yeah. You know, again, the whole the whole GPU thing as well is just like, do you have a use case for it, or you just kind of like, you know, do you really just want it? You know, it's like <laughs> most of the time, you know, tech heads, like just just want it. You know, they don't have a use case. Let's be honest, yeah, you because know? you know, the, some of these cards, they're four they're four yeah. K capable cards, they're not fourteen forty p capable cards or ten eighty p capable cards. They're four K yeah. capable cards. But yeah, I, I I agree. I mean, like you know, AMD CPU wise, I'm knocked out of the pot. Supply's definitely got to improve because no one can get their hands on it. But, you know, equally there's, right now, yeah. there's not a lot yeah. of competition top of the stack. And, you know, they've had a roadmap, they've kept to it. I think it's been about <laughs> four years they've been at this, right? Yeah. But they're not stopping. Zen 4's coming out, Zen 5's coming out. Yeah, and it'd be interesting to see what Intel do now because of their new, I mean, they've got a new CEO um, kind of in and... and It'd be interesting to see. He won't be able to do anything, you know, instantly to change it, that business line. But you know, another year, another eighteen months, there may be, you know, maybe some good competition from Intel. Yeah, I think to be honest here, I think that's probably the biggest change above and beyond any kind of product mm. for Intel. Yeah, yeah. No disrespect to the uh, outgoing CEO, 
but he was he's brought in there seemingly to do a specific job because you know he's he's more of a finance guy as I understood it. Mm-hmm. So it seemed like he just was there to kind of steady shit, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. This guy is a, a real engineer. Yeah, he was at Intel for quite a long time. I think I think someone said twenty years, something along those lines. Yeah, ones. and then he was what VMware. I think he was at. Now he's you know, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, and you know, again, you know, you look at Lisa Sue at AMD. Mm, mm-hmm. She's an engineer. Yep. Yeah. You know, funny enough, she actually works on a cell processor at IBM. Mm, mm-hmm. She's got a track record of technology and being an engineer and, you know, working on these sorts of, kind yeah. of uh, technology kind of products. I don't think Intel necessarily going to beat kind of AMD in terms of CPU. Mm. I, but I, I think what they need to do is just get a bit more competitive. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now, there is really no reason to get an Intel CPU. Yeah. At least from the from a, from a retail angle, yeah. And any basic consumer, then, yeah, yeah. Then it's all, almost not, always AMD. Yeah, we're not talking enterprise, really. Not, not, not yet. Actually, <laughs> no, not yeah, not yet. But, but it, you know, inter- enterprise takes a long, long time to kind of like turn around, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a much more risk adverse kind of like area, isn't it? But I'm sure but AMD I mean, are going after that next. It's it's the well, almost obvious it. one, yeah. Yeah, they got it epic. They got it <laughs> epic kind of like uh, you know, parts. Yeah. Pushing for that, but I mean, I mean, I, and I, to a degree, Al, I wouldn't actually even say it's um, it's laptop. Mm. I think the desktop market is for me CPU wise is all about AMD. Yeah, yeah. The laptop, mobile, computer mm. market is Intel are still there and they're yeah. still doing you know relatively well, but they're being they're being pressured. Yeah, I, I think with the five thousand series. Of, of of CPUs or APUs you can call them they're just going to be they're going to be such a good push into the laptop market yeah I mean I I think it's going to be a big push from Intel to dislodge or s- kind of stop um, kind of AMD, AMD's trajectory mm-hmm. yeah because I mean Intel are bringing out Rocket late I think um, I think it was at a, a Q end of Q1 I think in March or early Q2 mm-hmm. and I kind of think that's just there to kind of really um, stem the bleeding. Yeah, yeah. And, and to a degree, I think they're gonna they're gonna retain gaming performance advantage. And I've seen mm-hmm. I've seen the marketing material where it's basically you know they've got a nineteen percent uptick in IPC versus the current generation of Intel chips. Yeah. But that really translates to a four or f- a single digit, and I think it's, it was between four to eight percent across different games performance increase. Versus kind of the existing kind of uh, Zen processes. Yeah. And up, but it's just a stopgap. And I think um, come the end of the year, I think Q3, they bring out this thing called Order Lake. This you know new series of CPUs, which is based on I think this uh, big little configuration. So it's very like mobile phone mm-hmm. processes where you have you know some high powered cores and some smaller, lower powered cores. It's, yeah, I think the idea there is to take care of like background processes mm-hmm. for the OS. Leave the you know mm-hmm. the eight cores free to kind of take on heavier duty kind of like tasks. Yeah. So yeah. I think in Q three, that's Q three, Q four. That's when we're going to see the real challenge from Intel coming. Well, that's that's mm. that, that's really their new architecture. It's going to be on their ten nm process that's been promised for God knows how many years. And that's that's when yeah. we're going to see it. But then you know if AMD continue, Zen four comes out in the new year. Say what happens yeah. then? Yeah. They're always, you know, it just seems yeah, like they're yeah, always yeah. going to be behind. They really need kind of AMD to really screw up, you know. <laughs> I mean, like, they <laughs> stand still. And if they bring out Order Lake yeah. and it's any good, you know, I, I don't know that that, ever, that will happen. But yeah. And wasn't NVIDIA supposed to... I thought they were um, launching a, um, a GPU specifically for Bitcoin mining. Um, at least that's what I thought there, they there were. Was, there was talk of that, right? There was, I mean, mm. I've heard other rumours and news saying that they were actually selling some of these uh, new RTX 30 series cards to actually uh, miners anyway. That's, that's where the, mm-hmm. uh, the mm-hmm. supply went, early days anyway. Well, that's true or not, I don't know. It is just rumour and speculation. But I, I, I didn't know they were they were yeah. specifically, you know, creating a card for that sort of thing. Yeah, because you could do one, because basically, you don't need all the visual output connectors and all the sort of co- oh, converters a, for it. card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you because you, that's all you need yeah, for mining. Yeah. You don't need visual output of of anything there. You just need something that can yeah, actually run. I, 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 you know, I the, think the, 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 both Nvidia yeah. and AMD have got 
kind of enterprise compute cards. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I, I didn't know NVIDIA would have kind of tried to have something specific for that market. Mm-hmm. be interesting if they did, though. Mm-hmm. Um, would it be good for gamers or not? I don't know. Uh, you know, g- given it all comes out of uh, mm. fans they don't know, and I doubt it would have been good for gamers. <laughs> yeah, it would have just ended up being the, the, the silicone went on to something else. And, and you know, they were, they're selling more of those probably, potentially. Um, maybe, maybe that's what we need to push Reddit to do is um, get rid of uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it serves a purpose. That's always up to it serves a purpose, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, but, you know, NVIDIA, still king of GPUs for now. But uh, I don't think they're on the back foot. I think, I almost think no, they no, kind of no. relished the challenge yeah. for AMD. Mm. I never got the sense from um, NVIDIA that they slowed down. Aside from Turing, mm. the, you know, the 20 series, right, where they could have really done more. They really had yeah. no competition, yeah. yeah. Intel have been on cruise control for years. You know, AMD have obviously not had anything to compete with because we were stuck with, you yeah. know, four core processes for how long? You know, a long time. Mm, very long. But yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's gonna, I mean, it will be interesting 2021. I mean, I, I, I fully expect Intel to make a dent, at least try and say that we want to compete again. I fully expect, you know, NVIDIA to really continue. That's the only way to put it. I mean, like, they're not going to want to give up their... Um, their performance crown or they want to they want to keep on top there's no doubt about that to me that just makes for very even competition if you look at amd's roadmap and philosophy starting off with the uh cpus i think zen one was just about here's a new architecture we're starting afresh we're competing it wasn't even zen 2 it was zen zen plus we are now maturing this architecture you should buy it it works well zen 2 yeah we are now comparable to what Intel offering, and we've got a multi-core advantage. Yes, Intel have got the single core advantage, but there's a reason for you to choose us over Intel now. And then yeah, Zen yeah, 3, yeah. there's no reason you should buy Intel. <laughs> no reason at all, <laughs> right? And I, I yeah. kind of see the same thing going with, uh, you know, the Radeon GPUs. So all the know. Or, or, this is such a mouthful. I hate this acronym or whatever it is, this kind of like four letter thing. RDNA 1. Again, here's our new architecture. We're here to compete. They didn't have an yeah. RDNA 1 plus, but I kind of think RDNA 2 is almost that. We're yeah. now maturing and we're competing. And, you know, we're winning in some areas, but not all. RDNA 3, I think you're going to see them really just absolutely level pegging and beating NVIDIA on certain things. But NVIDIA will not stand still. Mm-hmm. You know, they will not stand for this. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I know, I think that that, that company's gonna fight. <laughs> I don't think those guys mess around. Yeah. <laughs> from what I can see, they're not they're not like an Intel, you know, or how, how Intel have been, you know, for, for the the past kind of like five or whatever years, right? They they dare they dare to basically take charge, I think. But so it makes it makes for interesting stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, with with Nvidia and you know their um GeForce Now platform and stuff like that, there's um. There's there's plenty of stuff that they're pushing for, and you know the DLSS too has done has done really well. Obviously, ray tracing they're still pushing heavily as well. So, like you say, I think they are relishing the idea of AMD pushing them um, and competing. And with that said, Al, let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> 